Watching the world burn, watching the world burn, August 20th, 2023. This is kind of a everything type of video. And, uh, you know, it's funny, I always, people have noticed in my videos, <laughs> I'm always staging stuff around me. But you know what? There's always some topic on my mind and I just like, oh my God, my mind's exploding. And and then I forget to talk about <laughs> why I put all this crap around me. So let's just get into the crap around me first. And uh, the first thing that I wanted to talk about was, my, by the way, cleaning vinegar. Uh, don't set it on a nice nightstand. Uh, even though it's in the bottle, it, it might stay in your nightstand. <laughs> Thank God I'm not married no more. But anyway, this is only 5% uh, uh, vinegar. And, uh, and so, yeah, I mean, I guess you could use it. I mean, it's good for cleaning. Um, and you can soak your shower head in it to, to get that, that scum out of, well, uh, hopefully you have a shower massage. You know, you just stick it down in the bucket. In fact, I got mine soaking right now. Um, so, but you can buy this anywhere. But you know what? You're paying way too much money. You're paying way too much money for this. Okay? Because all you're getting is 5%. So I did an experiment, and I did this just for you. Now you can order at Amazon 45% vinegar. Uh, and by the way, all you do is you cut it. So if you want a 5% vinegar solution, you just cut the vinegar. Um, you know, mix in, you know, do the math, figure out, you know, I need this much water to this much uh, vinegar. And then I went to Ace Hardware because I thought, well, can I buy it locally? Do I need to order it from Amazon? Because the problem with Amazon was... It did leak. They put it in a nice plastic bag, and it did leak in there. And it wasn't a whole lot that leaked, but man, I'm going to tell you, 45% vinegar. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's toxic or not, but it smelled like CS gas to me, and I've been gassed in the Marine Corps. But uh, this is 30% uh, vinegar, and you can pick this up at Ace Hardware. And so what you do is you just pour this in, and you cut it. Um, and so that's that's the, uh, the next thing I wanted to show you. So you can pick it up locally at your... Local Ace Harbor. I don't know. Probably Home Depot and Lowe's sell it. I just went to the one place, bought one. Um, these are the spray bottles. This is a professional sprayer. You can put all kinds of stuff in here. You know, one of the things that I wouldn't recommend, and I don't know. I, I just, I, I, I didn't understand vinegar, and I, I got distilled white vinegar. I'll probably get rid of this, because uh, distilled white vinegar is only like a 3% vinegar. It's good for cooking. But for cleaning, no. So anyway, just wanted to show you that because, yeah, we live, we learn, we're stupid, right? Um, then, of course, uh, the other thing that I keep by the sink is this is hand sanitizer. Well, I like it because, you know, actually hand sanitizer, you can spray it around on the counters if you want. It sanitizes them. Now, uh, Clorox, uh, you got to be real careful with that. So, for example, you wouldn't want to dump that down in your garbage disposal because it will just dry everything right out. All those, uh, those uh, rubber joints and everything. Um, same with uh, 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 putting it in. Well, you could put it down in the sinks to a certain extent or even in the toilet, I guess. But definitely don't put it in the toilet bowl because, once again, it'll dry out those toilet bowl parts. And even the, uh, the toilet bowl uh, cleaner that you buy, you don't want to put that down in the toilet bowl. So uh, just, just giving you some, some hints. Uh, but I like it because, you know, there you go. Spray it on. Got a little hand sanitizer. Ah, wipe it on the face. Woo! Got that nice smell. You know, I kind of I like... Uh, and by the way, they, they did say that, well, hand sanitizer has some drawbacks. <laughs> I won't go into those. Uh, getting back into vitamins... Uh, I don't know if you got the jab. All right, like I said, this video is going to be kind of all over the place. If you got the jab, um, there was a great video. Uh, I can't remember who it was. I was just taking, oh, it was, it was Dan Bongino. And uh, he had, uh, uh, I want to say Dr. Simon on there. Anyway, I can't remember the, the doctor's name. He's been very outspoken about uh, the jab. And uh, so some of the things that you can do to offset what we're seeing now might be side effects from the jab. Um, these, are, these are things that you can buy. This is, uh, by the way, my ex-wife, when she moved out <laughs> and stole everything, I don't know why, she left this turmeric cucurmin, C-U-R-C-U-M-I. That was another thing. Dan Bongino. Dan, 
Spell it out, man. <laughs> I had to search forever to find these things. I bought some more at uh, Amazon, and there'll be another video about the three uh, supplements that he uh, recommended. And I'm going to butcher these. And uh, and by the way, I don't have them yet. Uh, but this is this is turmeric cucumin complex. Uh, hopefully, you can see that. Now, I don't recommend this name brand. Um, there's better stuff on the market. And in fact, if my ex-wife left it behind, she must have thought there was something wrong with it. Uh, otherwise, she wouldn't try to poison me with it. So uh, then we've got uh, nanocinerase. And, and, or nanocinerase. And, and boy, that's a big freaking word. I've ordered some. You know, you want the 2,000 units with 100 milligrams. Um, yes, I will be doing. And then you got bromelain. And I ordered some of that. So we'll see where that goes. Um, but at least I had already had the uh, curcumin. C-U-R-C-U-M-I-N. And, uh, and by the way, you do, do your research. I mean, not all these um, supplements, we don't know if they're for real. They could just be filled with uh, uh, powder, uh, talcum powder for all we know. I mean, because there's no regulation on it all. But I don't know, 2,000 reviews. I just kind of go to Amazon and if it's got a lot of reviews, I'm hoping that somebody out there knows something. And that's kind of all you're trusted in. I don't know any other way to, to find out about these things. If you do, leave a comment. I'd like to know. Getting into investments, um, got a new investment. Johnny Bravo came out with this one, uh, FEMFF. That's a lithium mine in Cal uh, Canada. Um, I'm definitely, I'll probably put a bid on that uh, either tonight or tomorrow. It's a, it's a penny stock. I, like I said, you'll lose all your money. This ain't investment advice. But it, it's FE Battery is, is the name of the company. And, uh, you know, it seemed to me, and then, of course, um, I, I, Arcady Economics is recommending FSM, and I already own a bunch of that, so I probably won't. And then, of course, Goldman Sachs came out and says, sell, sell, sell. <laughs> so if you own stock, God help you. That's all I got to say. You know, I, I wanted to get back to my situation um, with uh, uh, life in general. Is, uh, I got to do a, a, a death video. Because, you know, I, I'm not sure how many people might be at my funeral. Very few, I'm sure. Because <laughs> I hardly know anybody here in Florida. All my relatives are dead. Everybody I know in the military is dead. Everybody I know is dead. Uh, but I'm making new friends. And you never know. There might be a few people. But I, wa I did want to have a video playing with all my favorite music. And I got to go up and learn how to cut it out of YouTube and download it to a file. That's not a copyright violation if you're just playing it at your funeral. <laughs> not, I mean, if you put a post a video and you make a profit off of it, then you're in trouble. Um, so I'm going to get into that. I, I, you know, I wanted to talk about, uh, I don't know if you got grandkids or you got kids. Uh, I, I never had kids. Uh, wasn't by design. I just, I, the woman that I met, she already had three daughters and, and a dog. And that was more than enough for me. And, and granted, uh, I'm estranged from now from those stepdaughters. Uh, so, I, so I got uh, nobody and, and more or less. But I, one of the things that I fought my parents with growing up was, um, you know, there's a lot of different education that you need to give your kids. Well, for example, a mechanical education. My dad never, back in the day, taught me how to wrench on cars. Now, can you wrench on cars these days? Not really. You got to pretty much take it to the dealer. I've got a Toyota Prius Prime. I look under the hood and, and I just, my eyeballs pop out of my head. And I think, uh, a deer in the headlights moment. And I go, I take it to the dealer. Uh, but but mechanically, you know, there's other things, you know, there might be farm equipment, there might be lawnmowers, uh, the old uh, gas powered lawnmowers, uh, that type of thing. You know, you might want to educate your kids on a little bit of that. This is a biggie. And I think that uh, almost every family that I know neglects a political education. Now, I'm not saying indoctrinate your kids as a Republican <laughs> or a Democrat or I would say more be, be an independent. But you have to tell your kids how important it is to be civically res responsible and learn who you, and what you might want to vote for. Um, just just my, uh, my, my education on that. Of course, then there'd be a, a technical education. See, these are the things they aren't getting in school. What, that's what I'm saying. They're not being taught in public schools. And so you, you as a parent you're gonna, or as a grandparent, you're going to have to take up these things. 
So a technical education, and what does that entail? Well, let's just take my, my book on cybersecurity, for example. What does it take to surf the internet and learn the dark web, for, for example, using Tor or um, uh, proxies uh, to get out on the internet and do what you got to do? Uh, how about encryption? Do you want to teach your kid? I'm just giving you from a computer's perspective because that's my technical background. Uh, how do you encrypt data? Uh, to send it, uh, well, especially if you're a small business, you've got to send it to the banks, you've got to send it elsewhere. You don't want to be sending your financial information on an unencrypted source like FTP. You're going to use SSH or you're going to use a VPN. What's a VPN? So you might, these are things you might want to teach your kids. How to build a computer, for example. That'd be a fun project that you and your kids might want to engage in. Just buy some simple parts, you know, and, and you would learn and the kids will learn along with you. How about a musical education? Uh, I was a trumpet player when I was a kid. Maybe your kid uh, has an affiliation for the saxophone or, or the piano. I mean, don't force it on them, but I mean, you know, it'd, it'd be nice to, and you don't want to spend too much time, but you know what? You never know. Maybe they're the next Bon Jovi or the next Ted Nugent, you know, it's a musical education. And then the last uh, education that is probably most important because we're heading for dark times is gardening. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm learning a lot and I'm trying to teach you a lot about gardening. So we're getting there. Let's get into uh, a couple more things and that'll be it for this video. By the way, you can buy these. Uh, these are the Panasonic uh, battery chargers. Uh, don't be buying alkaline batteries, okay? Get your rechargeable batteries, all right? They're a lot more expensive, but you get 2,800 uses out of them. 2,700, I think it is. And I've got three of these, and so I'm constantly taking the batteries out of my radios and I'm recharging them. And then if you do buy the batteries, get you a battery organizer. Check this out. You see? Now you can get a big... I got another bigger one of these, which does uh, the... Because um, uh, you, you, you want batteries for your remotes. You want batteries for your... Uh, and you've got those, those uh, uh, 23, 20, 23 batteries for your computers, the round batteries. Uh, any batteries, that, uh, of course, you want the 9-volt batteries for your smoke detectors. Of course, really, you should have your smoke detectors hooked up to the electricity and have a 9-volt backup. But you can get you a battery organizer. Uh, and that way, you know, I, I, I dare say I don't think I'll ever buy another battery. <laughs> and that's another thing, the devices that you buy. Get out there, and if anything, like I, I'm seeing this new um, uh, remote camera advertised uh, that you can buy that's gonna you can mount it in your car you can mount it everywhere well a lot of that proprietary equipment comes with the battery source that's included and guess what happens when the lithium-ion battery dies you got to throw the whole damn thing away what are you gonna do so I'm always making sure that my headlamps my flashlights uh, uh, anything that I get has standard batteries, uh, AA, AAA. Uh, you can also get uh, the headlamps with the, there's a square battery. They're pretty common. You can order. So if it doesn't come with a battery that you can order that's uh, commonly available and can be recharged uh, outside of the device, you got to be able to get the battery out of the device. Uh, is it like the, everybody buy those little lights that they put around their house. Well, what do they last? What, about a year, year and a half, especially in Florida with the humidity? You might get a year, year and a half out of them. No, buy, if you're going to buy anything, you got to be able to take the batteries out, uh, clean up the device, and put put new batteries in and charge it up. Uh, we'll get to the last couple things here. Uh, we, well, the Maui numbers, uh, by the way, I told you they would go up. Um, and, and nobody even took into account the nursing homes. And so they found uh, huge swabs of um, old people huddled together in masses that burn to death. Um, the globalists, warmongering Democrats, they don't give a shit. They're only going to send $250 per person to help the people of Maui. Yet another $24 billion going to F, I mean to Ukraine. Does that infuriate you? It certainly does me. I, 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 just, I just think the, 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 the Democrats have, have lost their minds. Uh, they're definitely selling out America. They're selling out the American people. They couldn't give a shit. Joe Biden's on, uh, on vacation in Lake Tahoe right now. The, the, the last thing I wanted to talk about for this video, because this is just a talking video, was uh, 
the uh, Hurricane uh, Hillary. It, by the way, <laughs> I've been tweeting about it. Isn't that ironic that that the, the the hurricane is named Hillary? Now it's with one L, H I L A R Y, and people say, "Oh my God, it's not Hurricane Hillary like Hillary Clinton. It's Hurricane Hillary with one L." No, I look at it as Hurricane Hillary. <laughs> and guess who it's hitting? A Democrat state. That's, I mean, the irony of it all. Is, 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 the, is the irony lost on you that, that a Democrat state is getting devastated by Hurricane Hillary? Uh, it, it would be like Hurricane Nancy Pelosi hitting California, <laughs> which she already has. She's already devastated. I mean, look at what she did to San Francisco. Oh my God, what a cesspool. Who the hell wants to, I mean, I, do you plan to go to San Francisco? I ain't never going there, not in my lifetime, not in now. I mean, I would have loved to have visited about 10, 15 years ago. Oh my goodness gracious. So, uh, but I wanted to point out what I'm seeing and you see it time and time and time again in these natural disasters. There's cars right now that I'm watching on videos that are underwater. Air, the water's up to about the, the roof of the car, maybe just below, maybe about halfway down the windows. That car's run forever. You could, that car will never, ever demand another dime or nickel, especially in today's world. Uh, you, you can't even auction that thing if anybody that's smart trying to buy it. Now, maybe you can uh, hoodwink somebody into buying the damn thing. But if you own a car and you've had two weeks of warning knowing that there's a big storm coming in that's going to dump a shitload of water on your on your community get your car to high ground <laughs> it can be in your local community drive it up into the mountains you know go on vacation and and, and go stay at a damn uh you know a, a a resort up in the mountains now granted the mountains you want to get far enough out that you you don't face mudslides and and uh and and all the torrential downpours but you know just get your stuff out of the way as much as you can and also, I understand people wanting to be home. This this place that I'm in right now is my last best stone. So what I would do is, for example, my community, I'm in the low spot of my community. I would drive my car. It goes up. I'm, I'm at 89 feet right here. It goes up to about 150 feet at the peak of my community. I would take my car up. It's only about a mile. Park my car at the clubhouse. They wouldn't care. You know, it's fine. I'm in a gated community. And then I'd well, just walk on back home, get some exercise, and I'd leave it there for the next hurricane. If there's a danger of flooding, which there probably will be because, you know, like I said, the infrastructure is deteriorating. So that way my car is out of the loop, right? If you've got anything on the floor of your house, get it the hell up. Put it on the counters, you know? If you if you get something to raise stuff off the floor, get it up. I mean, in case your house floods, how much water do you think is going to come in? Well, I mean, we've seen hurricanes like in Orleans where the entire house was underwater. Then you're totally screwed. But most of the time, you know, might get about six inches a foot of water in. And don't leave your stuff down next to the ground. <coughs> is this just common sense? You know, I, I I don't get it. Somebody explain it all to me. Peace out. Stay free. And uh, that's it for this video. I wanted to do the monuments, but I just can't get into it. This video is long enough now. Good day. You can run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Run on for a long time. Sooner or later, God's going to cut you down. Sooner or later, God's going to cut you down. Go tell that globalist liar, that Democrat idiot writer, that rhino rambler, that nuclear war gambler, that backbiting U.S. politician. Sooner or later, God's going to cut you down. Sooner or later, God's going to cut you down.